how counters work. The figure demonstrates how a counter works. The count value must remain in the range of minus 32,768 to plus 32,767. If the count value goes above plus 32,767 or below minus 32,768, the counter status overflow OV or underflow UN bit is set. A counter can be reset to zero using the reset instruction. Count up CTU instruction. The CTU is an instruction that counts parts to two rungs transition. Rungs transition can be caused by an event occurring in the program from internal logic or by external field devices such as part traveling past a detector or activating a limit switch. When run condition for a CTU instruction have made a false to transition, the accumulated value is incremented by one count, provided that the run containing the CTU instruction is evaluated between these instructions. The ability of the counter to detect false to transition depends on the speed frequency of the incoming signal. Entering parameters. There are serial parameters associated with counter instruction. The following parameters details the operation of the counter. Accumulator value CC. This is the number of false to transition that have occurred since the counter was last reset. Reset value PRE specifies the value which the counter must reach before the controller sets the done bed PN. When the accumulator value becomes equal to or greater than the preset value, the done status bit is set. You can use the done bit TN to control an output device. The accumulated value is retained after the CTU instruction go false, or when power is removed from and then restored to controller. Also, the on or off status of counter done overflow and underflow bit is retained here. The accumulated value and control bit are reset when the appropriate RES instruction is enabled. The CU bit are always set prior to entering the run or test mode. Countdown CTD instruction. The CTD is an instruction that counts first to true runs transition. Runs transition can be caused by event occurring in the program, such as power traveling past a detector or activating element switch. When run transition for a CTD instruction have made a first to true transition, the accumulated value is decremented by one count. 
provided that the wrong term containing the CTD instruction is evaluated between these transitions. The accumulated count can retain when the wrong transition again becomes false. The accumulated count is retained until cleared by a reset RES instruction that has the same address as the counter reset. The accumulated value is retained after the CTT instruction goes false or when power is removed from and then restored to controller. Also the on or off status of counter done, overflow and underflow bit is retained here. The accumulated value and control bit are reset when the appropriate RES instruction is executed. The CD bit are always set prior to entering the REM run or REM test mode. Counter data file element C5. Each counter address is made of a three word data file element. Word 0 is a control word containing the status bit of the instruction. Word 1 is the preset value. Word 2 is the accumulated value. The control word for counter instruction includes five status bits. Reset RES instruction. Use a reset RES instruction to reset a timer or counter. When the RES instruction is enabled at reset, the timer on delay T on retentive timer TRTO, count up CTU or count down CTD instruction having the same addresses as the RES instruction. When resetting a counter, if the RES instruction is enabled and the counter rung is enabled, the CU or CD bit is reset. If the counter preset value is negative, the RES instruction sets the accumulated value to zero. This is turn causes the done bit is to be set by a counter down or counter up instruction. Attention, because RES instruction resets the accumulated value, and a done timing and enable bit to not use the RES instruction to reset a timer addresses used in a T off instruction. Otherwise, unpredictable machine operation or injury to person may occur.